sure to that you know, record things right here. All right. Hey YouTube, it's me for other ass in what here, and we all back on another Genshin Impact stream today. Uh, and well, this is will obviously be added to the video, uh, to a video for YouTube when it hits up, and when I have enough time to edit, obviously. Um, but <laughs> yeah, um, I will try today to get all the things started. We have obviously the new banner has, has what that has arrived, which is right in Shodan. I'll try to pull for her, uh, obviously. We'll see how my luck goes. I'm also trying to pull for Shovers in the meantime, so I guess that if we do a double, then I'll be quite lucky, but if we don't, then I'll try to, um, well, get my <laughs> intertwined fates back and uh, all of my promo gems ready for another pulling session, session in the future. We have 20 days for it to do so, so I'll try to do it as well as fast as I can, I guess. Um, but yeah, as it turns out, um, we have a lot to do. So if you guys on YouTube on YouTube are excited about um, the continuation of my Genshin Impact venture, please hit a like on YouTube and leave a follow. And come over at twitch.tv forward slash uh, forever ascent so that you won't miss another uh, video from me or another stream from me in the future. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited and without further ado, let us begin. Alright, so, um, let's see. So as you can see here, we also have um, a happy birthday from our dear friend Toma, which is on, which was on the 9th, the 9th of uh, January, so for my time, yeah, it's today, and <laughs> yeah, the game revolves around this word, fate. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, Rattish, uh, this will be uh, edited in in my editing process for YouTube, obviously, but I don't know, who did you choose as um, your beginning protagonist? Did you choose the female, the mean, or did you choose uh, Aether as as the protag for the story that you chose? Uh, so yeah, guys, we are going to read this uh, happy birthday letter from my dear friend Toma at Akabori Tea House. So let's see how that goes, huh? <laughs> A joyous occasion. Long time no see. You're more than welcome to join in my birthday celebrations. Though we'll have plenty of time to talk after you come, I still can't wait to tell you about this really fun thing that happened. Oh? Okay, I'm excited. What What is it you're going to talk to me about? Not long ago, a shop in Rito imported a bunch of goods from Mondstadt, and you could tell at a glance just how fresh they were. A bunch of goods from Mondstadt? Fresh? Uh, you mean like fruits? Like sensetias? Or berries? I don't know. Mints? We have a, a lot here in, um, in Fontaine, by the way. A lot of mints and a lot of markets as well, so there's that. And he seized the chance to buy a bunch and immediately started pickling some. Okay. I had originally planned to use the clear and sweet flavor flavor of the cala lilies. Oh, okay. I had originally planned to use the clear and sweet water of the cala lilies to give it a unique twist and give my lord and my lady a chance to try something new. So, uh, Ayato and Ayata. Okay. I hope they're doing alright, by the way. I mean, uh, of course, we saw them during the Roses and Muskets event, but, uh, uh, well, since the end of that event specifically, they returned to Inazuma, so I hope that their journey to Fontaine has been fruitful and that they've 
I've gathered some so many fond fond memories for them to actually keep in their hearts. When, for example, Shervers or Shiori actually go back to to Inazuma, who knows? Um, but the final product was a completely wondrous surprise. Even the te the texture was totally transformed. Oh really? At once crispy and tasty, but also oh so savory as you chew. Madame Furuta even asked me for the recipe. Oh, Madame Furuta, yeah, she is one of the, I would say the old, one of the old ladies, at the house of the Kamisado clan. Yeah, I remember her. Being able to share this amazing discovery with everyone is all I could ask for. As a matter of fact. I've made a whole smorgasbord of delicious dishes. Be sure not to miss it. Oh, I won't. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's claim all that. Warmth. So this is Toma's specialty, yeah. I remember that. Uh, so this, what What does it do? Restores 14% HP of... Uh, restores 14% of max HP. So let the charity regenerates free 50 HP every 5 seconds for 30 seconds. Alright. Uh, Toma's specialty, the intricate appearance of this dish belies the simple ingredients used. Yeah, true. But take a sip, and Toma's sunshine smile comes straight to mind. <laughs> Perhaps this is his special ability, warming the hearts of others using the simplest of ingredients. Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is going, going to be edited as well. Remember Forever Ascent, please? Um, <laughs> so you chose Lamine. Uh, yeah. As, well, I don't know if you saw it, but I chose Aether, so... I, I don't know. Um, when you see Aether as being uh, the Prince of the Abyss, does it feel like it's crazy? Like, I don't know what the cutscene, uh, the cutscenes related to Aether would look like if you were in the position of being, well, uh, this, well, mysterious guy who is uh, acquainted and linked with the Abyss. I hope, uh, I hope it, it does it justice as well as it did for me watching Lamine being the princess of, um, the Abyss Order, or the Highness, as the uh, Abyss Mages tend to call her. Uh, so this is delicious dry braised salted fish. Alright, dried fish that has been grilled slowly over charcoal flame. The rich fats ooze out as the fish meets the grill, and with those sizzling sounds, the fish is clothed in a burnished golden coat. The meat is firm but delicious, and the mouth feel is quite delicate. Such is the unsurpassed gift of the seas. Alright, and what about the delicious five pickled treasures? Pickled treasures. Pickled... Pickled treasures. <laughs> pickled vegetables. The, fermenta the fermentation process has added a layer of flavor to the natural sweetness of the ingredients. The crispy texture is a real highlight and it spices up rice and wine alike exceptionally. A treasure indeed. Okay. Well, that's another... That's another <laughs> birthday present added to the gift box. Since Kamisato Ayaka, on that fateful day when she asked us to go find her uh, under the sacred tree, and to admire the beautiful moonlight with her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Alright. So, I guess that without further ado, we will start the wish session. So, for the epitomized path, obviously, I'm going to... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm going to use the the epitomized, the, the epitomized path. Uh, yeah, okay. For the engulfing lightning. So, I'll get that. 
if I do indeed get uh, uh, Raiden ahead of time, if I'm lucky enough, uh, I guess we'll see. So, let's get started on the on the wishes. Hope you guys are excited, because, uh, well, I am, but I don't want to get too get shafted, <laughs> but who knows, clearly. Alright, let's go. First impulse. Alright, so if I can if I can get shivers ahead of time, that would be wicked. <laughs> that would be wicked. Chujasara? Okay, okay. Um I don't know if I have her C6 though. I don't know. But that's a plus. Chujasara is a is a good support. For the right and children as well, so and we have also Benny Boy. Okay, <laughs> two four stars in the same multi. Nice. All right. Uh, let me let me just have a look real quick at my characters. So, if we go to them and I go to uh, where are they? Oh, here. Kudrasara. So we have for her <laughs> C2. C2 for Kudrasara. Dark Wings. What is this? Unleashing Tengu Stormcold will leave a weaker crow feather at Kudrasara's original position that will deal 30% of its original damage. Okay. Oh, you, you, guys, can't, <laughs> you guys can't see uh, because my camera is. Uh, this part here is being hidden by my face. <laughs> it's alright. So I activate this. <laughs> uh, and for Benny Boy. Um, so this is C6 for Benny Boy. Uh, fire ventures with me. Sword, Claymore, or Polearm wielding characters incite Fantastic Voyages radius gain a 15% pyro damage bonus, and their weapons are infused with pyro. Uh, tell me, Radish, uh, I have a question for that, specifically. Activating this constellation, um, is it really uh, good? Uh, I don't know for sure, because uh, they say it's, it says that Soul, Claymore, Polarm, will characters inside Fantastic Voyages radius, so is old, gain a 15% pyro damage bonus, and their weapons are infused with pyro. Mm. But if if their weapons are infused with pyro, don't C6? Okay, well, hey, thanks for telling me. Do not C6 that character. <laughs> I, I won't, I won't do, I won't C6 then. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, let's go back. The first pool was actually interesting enough. We got Chuchasara and Benny Boy, so I am quite excited to see what the other pools are going to be like. Let's get going. All right. Okay, so another four star. May hopefully it's Traverse. Hopefully. Please bring me Traverse. Please, 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 please. Please. For the second stream. Hoyoverse. Please. Oh, second stream. <laughs> For the second multiple. Please. Give me Traverse. I can't be clear enough. Well, I can't be clearer than that. Holyverse, 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 thank you. 
It's like it's like they listen to me. And no, I'm not. I'm not a spy. I'm not a Hoover spy. I do not. I'm not funded by these guys. So, but hey, if you want to fund me, Hoover, hit me up. That's all I say. <laughs> all right. So chauffeurs added. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes. Okay. So that is insane. Oh my god, my god. Yeah. <laughs> Session already successful, British. Uh, yep. Seems that uh, all the archons. <laughs> Sorry, all the archons of Tibet have listened to me. And Hoyaverse, I suppose that Hoyaverse can be surmised as being um, people from Celestia, maybe? As they are given visions, maybe they are given characters as well. Who knows? But. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, Shivers. Now, uh, we need translations for Shivers, and we need Raiden Shogun. So, can we do that? Can we do that? Before the pity. Let's go, let's go. Let's get started. Let's see. Alright. Let's have a look. Okay. So, that's the third. That's the third multiple. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, the bell. Um, I think I've got this refined at level five. Uh, I don't. I don't know if it's a good thing to keep another one uh, at rank a uh, refinement five or not. And in case there's another character who needs it, who knows? But that's another bell, though. <laughs> we'll see. So, okay. This one was more on the lows, on, on, yeah, on the monotone side, let's say. So, it's a way for Hoyaverse to tell me, like, yo, Hassan. Calm down, calm down. You got you got shivers in the other pool, okay? Don't be too greedy. <laughs> hey. If you guys were actually generous, you would give me Raiden Shogun in the next multiple. What what about that? Yeah. It's based this this uh, weapon radish is based on HP. So it's actually good for, for example, um, some characters that um, scale on HP, like uh, Dea, Marvel, although we know what's the Rogers about Dea, as well as uh, who else? I think there was another character who scaled on, H on HP. Uh, oh yeah, that's the incoming character that there, there are, <laughs> that is all, like some sort of another Dea. Uh, which is Madame? No, it's um, what's it called? What's it? What's it? Cloud Retainer, yes, Cloud Retainer. So yeah, All right. But uh, yeah, this is one of the worst weapons you can get. <laughs> but hey, I'm confident that uh, we'll be able to pull her somewhere down the line. Let's see. This is the fourth. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, another four star, maybe another shovers, who knows? Give me another shovers. Give me give me a consolation for shovers. Please. Please. I, I... Okay, Benny Boy, um I guess you'll be useful for the intertwined fates after the, the pulling session. 
I suppose. But yeah, I won't be feeding you more translation that you already need. I'm sorry, my dude, but the Benny's adventure, the, the Benny's adventure team must be stopped sometimes. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's move on. Okay. More down, more on the down low here. And they're not really compliant with my desires. All you hold your birds. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at you. Alright. Let's go. So, this is going to be uh, 5 now? Right? <sighs> Radish, um, please uh, uh, send me your, your strength. I'm, I'm going to need it in order to to reach uh, Raiden Shodan. She's calling for me, so uh, give me your support. <laughs> give me your support. Because right now, nah, that's not it, Chief. I mean, we got Traverse, I cannot, I cannot complain, I suppose, but still. <laughs> okay, um, Trujasara, so that, uh, that's C3. Okay. Fair enough. C3. Alright. Anything else? <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, however, so you're playing like that right now. What to say, I have worse luck in Dacha? What do you mean I have worse luck? <laughs> what do you mean? Hey. A apart from... Uh, no, no, I won't do that. But apart from getting Shervers right now, uh, I, I don't have any luck at the moment, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, this is just uh, sending her... What is it? Her... Skill? Uh, element, uh, yeah, yes, elemental skill. Yeah, I think that's that. The war within. Let's see this. Uh, nope, that's her ult. That's her ult. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> hey. Luck, the luck, okay, is always it's getting in wrong track yeah but hey hey who knows it might be it might be like a slow downtime um, pulling session for it to go hyper strong in the end who knows i'm hopeful all right let's go Wait, 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 Okay, I'm anxious. I'm quite anxious right now. <clears throat> please, please do not give me Chi Chi. Please do not give me Chi Chi. Please do not give me Diluc. Give me Raiden. Please, Raiden Shogun. That's all I need. That's it, Hoyoverse. Give me Raiden Shogun. Okay. Okay. 
Rajesh, Rajesh, uh, are you ready, my dude? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I don't know. My heart rate is going crazy right now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm too scared. I'm too scared to click right now. <laughs> too scared to click. <laughs> and nervous right now. Um. Well. Uh, here it was nothing. Okay. Here it was nothing. So that was one, two, three, four, <clears throat> five. It's on the last five, six. Oh, my God, I thought. <sighs> Bennett, please, this is not the time. Although we got a C4, so I mean, we got a C4. We got a four star character in the multi. Okay. What's, what's the, the quote for, for Raiden Shogun again? Uh, Inazuma sh shines eternal, right? Inazuma shines eternal. Okay, so that's her, one of her, uh, is it her skill or her burst? I think it's her burst. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Ka-ching. Thanks for your verse. Thanks. I, I, yeah, I, I kind of needed it. Thanks uh, for your verse. I, I don't know what to say right now. Um, that's, that's your 50-50, right? I said, ah, <laughs> so Hoyaverse, when I was draw, when I said I was drawing to replace her, you guys, you guys actually sent me like a subliminal message telling me, no, don't, wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. You're not going to replace her. We're going to give you a consolation so that she's even more busted and you want to keep her instead of Raiden Shogun. Is that right? It is that how you you think right now? Okay, um thanks. Thanks. Uh uh 
I guess that uh, I'll have Raiden Shogun in the next 50 50. I, I guess. Who knows? Let's continue then. Ka-ching. Yes. Demi Moto Ching. I, I like. I like. I mean, she's a good character. She, she, in her own right, she's a decent character when she when she's used properly. I I know that there are a lot of characters that actually main Ka-ching. They actually Ka-ching main. So, uh, well. It's an electro character. It's an electro. <laughs> That's so crazy. It's an electro female character who is not the Raiden Shogun. All right. Well, let's continue then. Um, does it feel like I've been debated somehow? Because it kind of feels like it, to be honest. But hey, that's, uh, that's C1 for Ka-Ching. Yay. Thank you, Hoyoverse. Thank you. Let's, uh, give that C1 to... A chain, right? Uh, <clears throat> there she is. Chain. Having her C1. As you, Hoyoverse, as you guys at Hoyoverse intended, I'm actually giving a C1 to the chain. Mm, thanks to you, I suppose. <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> Enough for me, I can't bear that. Eh, Rakesh, you have to suffer with me, my dude. I will not suffer alone. God damn it. <laughs> Fun thundering Might. Recasting Stellar Restoration while a Lightning Stiletto is present causing ch cause causes Kachin to deal 50% of her attack as AoE electric damage at the start point. And terminus of a blank. Okay, that's uh, that's great. That's definitely great. <clears throat> do I have do I have more I can use? Yeah, I guess there's. Uh, hey, Ratish, there's still hope. There's still hope. Um, like I think I have two more multis, and then we'll do some singles. Uh, two more multis. You've lost four fifty fifty. <laughs> no, come on, that's not possible. Huh. I also got Kachin recently in throwing a banner. Life is strange like that. When life gives you lemons. Give it to Ching. I suppose. Alright, with that being out of the way, I guess we are due for another two multiples. Let's just hope that Hoyoverse is um, actually generous. And not too. Uh, filtering about what they want us to pick up, right? All right. Second to last pull. Second to last multiple. The penultimate multiple. It's a 
four star. And it's Bennett again. Bennett, I, I love you. I, you know that I love you, but uh, right now I'd rather see Shivers instead of you, to be honest. I, I, I definitely love you, you know? <laughs> Hopefully there's another four star in there. I really hope so. Okay, yeah. A Dragon's Bane. That I have two Dragon's Bane that are refined all five. So yeah, thank you, Hoyevers. I definitely I definitely needed it. Enough of this banish shit. <laughs> yeah. Alright. It's time for um, the last part, I suppose. I mean, before we do the singles. So I hope um, uh, you guys, for you guys at home, I hope it is going all right. I hope you had the most wonderful day, or wonderful, wonderful evening, or wonderful night. And I really hope that you have, um, well, something that's more enjo enjoyable than what I'm doing right here. Because, to be honest, apart from that traverse on the, well, second multiple. I'm, I'm suffering inside, as you can't tell, obviously, because you're looking to, to me through your camera, but yeah, the suffering needs, needs to stop. The suffering needs to stop. Look at me. Look, look. Okay. The suffering needs to stop, universe. We have a contract, you and me. I play your game. And you give me what I want. Is the, is it is it great for you? Can can I have that little benefice? No. C four, C four Kujasara. <clears throat> a second, guys. A sec no, a sec yeah, a sec I did four T-Pulls for Shivers today, but didn't get her. F four T-Pulls? To rebel <laughs> we need to do um yeah we, we need to rebel against the heavenly principles this has gone for long enough this has gone on for long enough the heavenly principles are actually playing with our heartstrings right now and I don't know how to feel just now. <laughs> Conclusive proof. The number of Tengu Jirai storm cluster released by subjugation Kuku Sendo. Ku Kuku? Kuku Sendo? Sendo? I don't know. Is increased to six. So that's for her ult. Alright, so. With that out of the way, I'm going to go to the shop. 
and I'm going to reclaim these. I have seven of those. I'm on 50-50 pity, trying to pull further for her. Just wait a second. I might have an idea right now. C5 Trujasara. Alright. Well, that's this uh, 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 pulling session done. Thank you for Hoyaverse for your generosity. Truly, you didn't have to. Uh, but I can't complain. I got a, um, a C. I mean, a. Uh, a Shaverse, so I guess that's good. I'm sure you'll get her at the end of her banner. Hey, I, I can't wait for that moment. I've, <laughs> I've actually, um, well, saved uh, for that charity, so yeah. Let's hope that I'll get her at the end of her banner when uh, everything is alright. But now, what is interesting is, um, if there's another, well, five star, uh, down the line for the Raiden Shogun's banner, then definitely I'm going to get her, because, <laughs> because I got to chain right now, so. CC Trujasara is beast? Really? Wait, let me see. Let me let me see. Where is she? Trujosara. C six. The electro damage of characters who have had their attack increased by Tengu Jurai has its crit damage in Oh I see. So <laughs> crit damage for days. Crit damage for days. So yeah, uh, I I understand now why. So, hey, uh, maybe in the next pulling session that uh, we will do, also uh, to help me, to help me and to support to support what I do and the streams that I will do, uh, guys, uh, please leave a follow. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, get leave a like on YouTube as well. For the algorithm, and uh, pray for my sanity. At the end of the uh, at the end of the day, obviously. Um, but yeah. <laughs> All right, but we, as of right now, the gods are shivers here. So I will read some of it for you. Um, you radish <laughs> and for you beautiful guys at home lads and ladies around the world so yeah shivers so these are her idol animations i, I like her i really like her designs though her design i i, I really liked her look at this stripping out zooming on the possible target okay uh, I, I want to to look at her first idol animation, the one with the I think it was fish and chips or something like potatoes. Yeah, I think it was potatoes, but I don't know what she's eating. Do you have a guess, Rakesh? 
that. Wait, what is she? Is she what is she eating? She's eating, she eating potatoes, right? Your little uh, french fries. Or... Uh, or churros, or uh, something like that. Enough to bear, which I will go to sleep for now. <laughs> Enough to bear. Hey, you and me, you and me, will get what we deserve. Don't you worry, Ratish. What comes around, turns around. Hey, same time, I mean, not same time, but tomorrow there will be another stream, so be there, my dude, if you can. Uh, we will curse, we will curse Celestia for getting us bad RNG system and uh, well making our polling sessions disastrous <laughs> greases snacks oh, okay yeah I guess I guess that's that all right so uh, let's uh, equip her wings right now so what do you think will be best suited for her wings? I don't have every wing, obviously. Greased snacks. Okay. Uh, don't know. Uh, I don't have the electro one. That would have been uh, interesting. But, um, I don't know. Wings of Shimmering Galaxy? Yeah, rebel against Celestia. <laughs> hey, uh, as long as I, don't, as I don't read the sun and moon, I guess I'll be alright. But oh wait, 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 I read sun and moon. I guess we will equip the Wings of Shimmer and Galaxy, at least for now. Alright. Um, as for her outfit, we know that it has been designed by, at Shibai Shiri, I think. Guardian's gun. So, Shiri's outfit. The designers, the designers keep the, kept the uniforms classic black, white, and red color combination and added a bevy of accessories. The result proved too heavy, which the captain protested. The final fit for public consumption version lacked most of these metal decorations. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let us see. Um, the captain of the special security and civilians... Uh, well, speak. The captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol, who wears justice as an ever-present seal upon her, heart, her heart. <laughs> her musket shall only ever point at the guilty. Hey, have a nice, have a nice night. Have a good night, my dude. Sleep well, and I'll see you next time, which will be really soon. I promise. Don't you worry. Hey, try to forget that and. We will we'll rebel against the heavenly principles. Don't you worry. It's a guarantee. <laughs> bye bye, Rakish. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, as for her weapon, which. Is the one we're going to give her. Uh, well, I guess. <laughs> good, good night, good night. Um, black tassel, white tassel. Hmm. Uh. I 
I'm not using Hu Towers at the moment, so I guess I'll switch that with her. Yeah. And Hu is going just to get like to another one of those. Alright. Uh, no, I wanted to, to read to read her lore. Where is she? Right here. Um, so, the weapon is acquired consolation. Uh, that's the sword and a musket. Talents. A normal attack line bayonet thrust EX. So, four consecutive, consecutive spear strikes, consumes a certain amount of stamina to lunge forward, dealing damage to opponents along the way. Alright. Plunge and attack plunges from midair to strike the ground below, damaging, damaging opponents along the path and dealing AoE damage upon impact. Cool. Uh, short range rapid interdiction fire. Shivers quickly shoulders her musket and fires at her opponents, or opponent single, uh, dealing AoE pyro damage. For a short duration after Shivers fires a shot, she will continuously restore, the, restore HP to the active character on the field. The amount healed is based on her max HP. Mm. So she stills on uh, max HP on HP right now. How to fire in a different fashion. Hold. Enter aiming mode, locking locking the target in her sights to fire a precise interdiction shot. If Shivers has an overcharged ball, then she will fire the overcharged ball instead, dealing greater pyro damage in a larger area. Shivers gains one overcharged ball every time a nearby character in the party triggers an overloaded reaction, and can have up to one overcharged ball at a time. Quite important. So she's from the Russia alignment. Seems. Alright. Actually, training regulations only had the phrase interdiction fire, but the protagonist of this novel believes that even how stylish your terminology is can affect how motivated your troops are. Which can put your opponents on the back foot right from the get go. I think that's a good point, so I can I change the regulation? Burst, ring of bursting grenades. Chavers fires an explosive grenade at opponents with a musket, dealing AoE pirate damage. So the projectile hits, it will split into many secondary explosive shells. The secondary explosive shells will burst after a short interval, dealing pirate damage to nearby opponents. Theoretically, a rectangular blast would be most efficient at destroying enemy formations. Unfortunately, the cross-section of an explosive shot wave is round, like most tapes, so the secondary explosive shells can only be arranged like the fruit of a cake, forming a ring around the edge. Okay, uh, Vanguard's coordinated tactics. When all party members are pyro and electro characters, and there is at least one pyro and one electro character each in the party, uh, Shavers grants coordinated tactics to nearby party members. After a character triggers the overloaded reaction, the pyro and electro breads of the opponents affected by this overloaded reaction will be decreased by 40% for 6 seconds. The coordinated tactics effect will be removed when the elemental types of the characters in the party do not meet the basic requirements for the passive talents. So you need one pyro and one electro. But it has to be all pyro and electro in the team. Alright. So vertical force coordination. Um, after Shivers fires an overcharged ball using short range rapid interdiction fire, so her skill, nearby pyro and electro characters in the party gain 1% increased attack 
for every 1,000 max HP strippers has for 30 seconds. Attack can be increased by up to 40% in this way. A double time march decreases sprinting stamina consumption for your own party members by 20%. So sprinting stamina is decreased by 20%. Oh, the sprinting stamina consumption is decreased by 20%. So what's the profile here? Uh, original Inbet. So Original Inbet, for those who don't know, is a, a, a voice actor that has done obviously a lot of voice acting during her days, but she's also voice acting for a character in Persona 5 by the name of Futaba. So, I was quite excited when I saw that, to be honest. So, her birthday, 10th of January. So, tomorrow? Is, is it tomorrow? I feel like it is. 10th of January. Okay. Affiliation, Special Security and Surveillance Patrol, Vision Pyro, Constellations, Clopitum, and Seferum. Okay. Um... The captain is a, the special security and civilians patrol who wears justice as an ever present seal upon her heart. A musket shall only ever point at the guilty. Alright, let's read. Character details. In the court of Fontaine, where the corpus juris is exceedingly well developed, some might even say convoluted, there are many odd ordinances that can confound and confuse foreign tourists. For example, the fruit tarts may not be placed directly on unheated platters. Unfinished fonta may not be intentionally placed in the middle of roads. And one must not forget to trim the claws of dead felines. Of dead felines, rather. <laughs> Violations are thus difficult to avoid, but Fontanians are quite familiar with such matters, quickly ascertaining the gravity of an offense and on offense and deciding on the course of action based on the identity of the one sent to deal with the matter. If it is only a member of the establishment staff, then perhaps a simple debate will be sufficient to resolve the issue. Who doesn't enjoy a lively atmosphere? Yeah. <clears throat> if it is an uniform gestionnaire, like the one that uh, we saw in the Palimomonia, then all all onlookers will have to suffer through an insufferable long-winded admonishment and spend to vacate the premises. If it is an officer of the Maison Gardinage, then the parties involved won't get off scot-free and may even have to pay fines. Oh. Um, in this case, it's best to immediately clarify that you are an innocent bystander and are in no way involved with the case. However, if the one to come, if the one to come calling is the captain of the special security and surveillance patrol, with her tall cap and musket slung across her back, along with a squad of special patrol officers, well, that means a particularly vicious case is unfolding, or perhaps a hoodlum is to be violently apprehended, or some fiendish villain has kidnapped a hostage. Who knows? In any case, the only thing to do in such a situation is to quickly evacuate in accordance with the instructions given by um, the Special Patrol and give this felon management specialist room to work with a magic. At the same time, keep a tight leash on your curiosity and do not attempt to conceal yourself um, in a nearby hidey hole, seeking to observe. Okay. Seeking to observe their law enforcement activities from a close distance. This should have been a coma here. But anyways, um, even if you wish to interview them, then wait until their work is done. Most importantly, there's no need to feel unsafe, and even less cause for fear. 
For as often paintings know, any hope criminals have to escape the long arm of the law flees whenever Captain Shervers is on the scene. Hey, that's right. What about the voiceover? I'm Chevres, Captain of Fontaine's Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. You'll excuse me if I skip the pleasantries. Is there a case that needs my attention? Okay, um, let, let me, um, uh, let me see something real quick. Uh, I'm Chevres, oh. Captain of Fontaine's Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. You'll excuse me if I skip the pleasantries. Is there a case that needs my attention? Oh, well, there is. Uh, musket. The musket is my favorite weapon. Okay. It's both powerful and threatening. Sometimes the latter trait is far more useful. I, I can hear. I can hear for Taba. The Special Security and Surveillance Patrol isn't involved in regular patrol duties around Fontaine. The people we're after aren't exactly the type who just pop up on the street. Food. Oh, Feastos are just the best snack. Nasty They're easy to carry Feastos. with you and go with so many sauces. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go buy some. Be right back! So, Feastos, that, that's what she's trying. She's eating in her first idol animation. Alright, where it rains. Don't worry. My musket can still fire in the rain. Good to know. When thunder strikes. Some criminals try to use the sound of thunder to conceal gunshots. But that trick doesn't fool my ears. Ooh. Oh, hold! I need to service my musket before the mechanism freezes. <laughs> when the sun is out. What nice weather. Especially good for keeping an eye on things. <laughs> With this wind, I'm afraid even my bullets might get blown off their mark. In the desert. The sheer vastness of the desert is perfect for keeping certain things buried and out of sight. True, true. Uh, good morning. Good morning. I was just about to do a few rounds of strength training. Do you want to join? Sure. Afternoon? Do you want to grab some food with me at the Special Patrol's mess hall? The food there really fills the stomach. Really? Another day of work over, and without any huge disasters to boot. Ooh, let's grab a midnight snack. I'll lead the way. <laughs> Good night. I'm also going to turn in soon. I really hope nothing too serious happens while I'm asleep. So hoping to turn in soon, I really hope nothing too serious happens. Well, yeah, well. About Shervers, Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. The Special Security and Surveillance Patrol deals with a whole host of heinous crimes and dangerous criminals. As such, the methods we employ to enforce the law can be a bit on the harsher side. Yeah, true. Sure. Interests. In my free time, I like to read crime novels. Yeah. They yeah. differ from murder mysteries in that they focus less on describing the complicated details of the crime itself and more on the emotional and human conflicts surrounding the case. I find them very interesting. Wow. And do you have something to share? Harcourt really did it. He arrested Milas, even though she was his true love. Oh, I have to admire him for that. Although... Did Milas really do anything wrong? All she did was find some jewelry and sell it off. I guess it didn't belong to her, but it's hardly the heinous crime that the aristocrats made it out to be. <sighs> it's hard to know what justice should look like sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, it's true, it's true. Uh, you're on the match? 
Although our organization belongs to the Maison Guardianage, the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol makes little use of Gardamex. As for the reason, well, let's just say those cumbersome machines would only get in the way of our bullets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not great at talking to people. Well, Fine. talking to people outside of an interrogation room, that is. If there's anything you want to know, please just ask. Sorry, I'm not great at talking to people. So I hear Futaba, and I also see a lot of Futaba in the surface as well. For those who are who are not still haven't played Persona Five, um, do yourself a service and play it. It's a really good game, and well, as it is obvious right now. I'm not going to spoil anything. Although I did spoil the character's name, but I don't we don't know anything about it, so it just it's that. So Shh. Sure versus hobies. Perhaps training or target practice. If I really had to say though, it would be reading crime novels. Oh, that reminds me. I should grab the latest copy of the murder files. I really hate wasting time learning frivolous pieces of etiquette. My time is better spent keeping criminals in check. Hmm. I love anything full of grease and sugar. Food like that provides me with ample energy during the workday. Plus, it's a real mood booster. But on my days off, those fat-inducing foods become my worst enemy. Yes. That being said, absolving the world of their existence also comes with its own pleasures. <laughs> Least favorite food, huh? Ugh, I can't really handle eating raw food. If I'm gonna eat it, then it has to be fully cooked. Okay. So this is receiving a gift. It's delicious. <sighs> But it seems I've already had a few bites too many. I'll have to work it off with extra training. <laughs> hmm. Much better than what we get in the Special Patrol's mess hall. It's filling, but doesn't leave you wanting more. An excellent dish in my book. <laughs> in other terms, your dish sucks. I'm sorry. Happy birthday! Ahem. Add attention! Okay. Chin up, shoulders back. Let's take your measurements. I want to commission a smaller, more portable musket and holster for you. Oh. Okay, at ease. While the musket is being commissioned, you need to log some hours at the shooting range first. No time like the present. Follow me. Right behind you. Stop right there! Drop your weapons! Final warning! You asked for it! Justice will prevail! Hands where I can see them! Look what we have here. There better not be any contraband in here. At ease. I don't believe this counts as theft. You had a choice. No respect for the law. Your crimes are evident. Back in formation! Hold your positions. The arc of justice is broken. Uh, they're still out there. This can't be the end. <sighs> Voice that tank well. Do not attempt to resist. All right, team. Let's move it out. A little extra training never hurts. Armed and ready. Okay, so I'm just going to level her up a level. I think until level um, 40. That's usually where I put my characters at when it comes to the threshold. So, yeah, level 40 would be a good thing for her. At least for now. Um, I'll try to test her tomorrow. 
coming in the next video or the next stream. I can't see that. But yeah, let's level her up. I like this. I like this system as well. Good. Let's do this. Not bad. I'm trying to uh, to add this as well. And level 40. And she needs this. The Phantom Mary Jenny Horn. Alright. So she gets a boost in HP here. So that's good. <laughs> Seeing that she needs all the uh, all the health she can get when it comes to HP. Oh, but what about the other effects? Statistics are being tabulated, so it's not done yet. So she's a pyro character. I'm sure that she has a set that needs to be given. Marichose Hunter. It's an finale. There's crit damage there. There's crit rate. Okay, I'm going to kill. So let's see. And this one scales on crit damage as well. That would be a huge one, but don't know for sure. And bonus. I think I'll equip this one as well. Then. Charge, right? Does this one may do the trick. That's for the plume.
Okay. and ladies around the world this has been another edition at video added to the books let's say <laughs> we were not successful in bringing if you're not sure back what home to do next, right and show how about I take you on a walk? specific video um, but I hope that we will have uh, better luck next time she's still here for 20 days so uh, I hope that I can get her at least once. That'd be uh, nice. So, like I said, your likes, your follows, and might do the trick, to be honest. So, as I said, <coughs> be sure to leave a like. Uh, follow me both on the YouTube page and here on uh, twitch.tv forward slash for aggressive. And what they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself please, to appreciate uh, share with all your friends on your social medias so that uh, we can create this community. And I can't wait to see where our next path towards well, our daily transportation with heavenly principles will bring us to. But in the meantime, as ladies, I hope. You had an amazing time with me today, and I will see you all in the next stream, or in the next video when the time comes. Bye guys.